Hello, sports fans. This is Stephen Hill for Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Minnesota Vikings. Before I get right into that, I'm going to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel right now so you can get all the updates and all the breakdowns. Without further ado, let's get right into this. Looking at the Dallas Cowboys, they had a disappointing loss to the Packers, and you're seeing exactly what in the heck are the Cowboys doing. The Cowboys essentially have the better team, but the Packers essentially played better. You're looking at deep down the stretch, um, Aaron Rodgers and company, they just made plays. They made plays on offense. They got the wide receivers open. They got the tight ends open. They Aaron Rodgers beat the coverage when he saw it available. He forced the ball when he needed to, and they made the plays late. They, they had good clock management down the, the stretch. Cowboys made a couple of mistakes, and they took advantage of them. You're looking at the Bills. The Bills are struggling a little bit with Josh Allen having his injury. He saw a couple of throws that were overthrown, underthrown. Uh, a couple of that Stephon Diggs caught that, you know, he shouldn't have maybe caught, but you know, this is those acrobatic catches. You know, they pushed the Minnesota Vikings to the limit. And you saw the Minnesota Vikings team that everybody doubted. And all of a sudden, boom, they had their breakthrough moment. This could be the moment that this team gets over that hump. And this may be in the game because the Bills are a Super Bowl contender. Let's face it. The Minnesota Vikings played a hell of a game. And they beat the Bills at their own game. They forced a pedal to the metal. Kirk Cousins went out there and did some damage. You saw Justin Jefferson make hell of catches. Uh, some of the best spectacular catches were yesterday in that game. Look, you had at least three or four catches between Justin Jefferson and Stephon Diggs, and you just saw just the way they were going back and forth. The quarterbacks were throwing the ball consistently all over the place, and, you know, it made for a good game. In this matchup here, you got to think that the Minnesota Vikings are going, to, are going to come in on an emotional high. You don't want a letdown in this football game. You want to, from the start to finish, attack the Dallas Cowboys. Attack them offensively on that offensive line. They're getting healthy on the offensive line, so you want to test that offensive line. Have your defense, and you got some veterans back there. Patrick Peterson, you have, you're going to have to play uh, an aggressive style versus Dak Prescott because Dak can be tricked. Dak, as we saw yesterday, threw to different places that he thought it was open, and it wasn't really open. You know, So throw the kitchen counter at Dak. Um, the run game, I think that the Minnesota Vikings have the advantage with Dalvin Cook in the backfield. I think they have the advantage with the wide receivers with Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen, and company. And the tight ends, for God's sakes, they have the advantage with Minnesota. So everything leads to the better quarterback situation, running back situation, wide receiver. I think Kirk Cousins is playing better than Dak right now. So it's just different. I think the only advantage that the, the Cowboys have is their defense. The Cowboys have playmakers on defense. I don't think they have a better defense, but their playmakers are better. So with Michael Parsons and company, D-Law, you got to think. They have situational matchups where... Those third and longs, if the Minnesota Vikings aren't careful, that those third and longs could turn into fourth downs very quickly. Um, but when you're thinking about it, overall, offense is going to win this football game. I don't think defense is going to win it. So I'm picking the Minnesota Vikings to win this one. I think they're going to put the pedal to the metal. They're going to make just enough plays to get it done. They're going to make sure that the Cowboys have to go above and beyond just to make basic plays. I think Patrick Peterson may have a good game in this one. We've seen him flying around the ball lately, lately making big plays in big games. And I think that it's going to come down to offense. Who's going to be able to run the ball better? I think Dalvin Cook's going to have a couple of holes. And they're going to be able to run the football all over the Dallas Cowboys. So all you Cowboys fans, all you Minnesota Vikings fans, get in the comment section below. Definitely check out Sports Choice Plus for all the breakdowns and all the updates. And as always, we'll see you on the very next video.